Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. So today we are here in England and I'm going to be showing you the best secret locations in London. Oh, Pat is back! That's right. Patrick's gonna be our tour guide for the day, showing us around all the spots. So where are we off to first, Pat? Well, Josh, are you feeling hungry today, mate? Not at all. Bit of a problem, because the first place do huge breakfasts. They're very nice breakfasts, because they're called Terry's Cafe Breakfasts. They were made first in the 1990s. Let's go and give it a taste. <laughs> So we're here in English, but we're here to try some full English breakfast and nothing beats it for breakfast. Starting the day with just a hunk of cooked food in front of you. And this is extra special. They get all their food from local London markets. Let's give it a taste. Oh, yeah. It just looks amazing and it tastes really good as well. Granted, there may be over 1,000 calories in your traditional full English, but you know what? YOLO swag. I dare you to dip it in the yolk. Oh, 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 oh yo. Damn. Delicious. What a great place to start the day having a full English. Now we're going to head on to the next amazing and unknown location in London. <laughs> We're here at the next secret location. Now this is God's own junkyard and it is the largest neon display in all of Europe and one of the largest collections in all of the world. Now I can tell you for a fact that this is off the beaten path. This is nowhere near the center of London. There is no one around at all. It's very exciting. Josh is right. It's miles from anywhere. And the guy who made this and is building all of these neon lights has been doing it for the last 40 years. So it really is his life's work. It is called God's Own Junkyard. Let's see what exactly that looks like. Exactly. I've got my 20p. I've got my giraffe. I'll see you in a few hours. Wait, what are you doing? This is epic! No, it's not! Wow, this is pretty amazing. Alright, let's show you guys what it looks like now. This is amazing! Do you want to dance? around God's Own Junkyard and it is unbelievable. It is almost otherworldly. I feel like a human moth right now. I'm being attracted by all the bright and colorful lights, the vibrancy and just the strength of the lights itself. It's amazing. It honestly will take your breath away. Guys, we are just on the way to our next location here in London. And on the way, we stumbled across, I mean, I, I don't really know. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is, Pat? No idea. It's like some sort of forest with music playing. Yeah, palm trees growing out of a warehouse. Not something you see every day, but we're going to go explore, take a quick detour, and bring you guys along with us. We can't wait. Let's go. We're here at Trinity Boy Wharf, and We've already found some pretty crazy stuff. Let's see what else there is. And boy, it's gonna be a good week. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Trinity Boy is a weird and wacky place and we're having a lot of fun exploring. So let's keep doing that. <laughs> it's 
So we've just been having a walk around and this place has the most amazing view. You can see the O2. And there's something really cool right over there. So this is the only lighthouse in London. It was built in 1864 and it's helped probably millions of boats over the years navigate their way. Stopping them crashing into rocks and let's go see what it looks like at the top. So we're here at the next hidden location. This one is particularly amazing because it's just beside the busy streets by London Bridge and yet behind me there's very, very few people around here. It's very tranquil. This is the St. Dunstan Church, built in the 980s. It hasn't been the most lucky church, honestly. It was destroyed in the Great Fire of London and then later in 1941 destroyed in the London bombings in World War II. It is now restored as a garden and it looks absolutely beautiful. Just a wonderful place to take a stroll. As the sun sets over London, it is time to say goodbye to Patrick and goodbye to the hidden spots of London. That is all the spots we're gonna be doing for today. As always, it's been great hanging out with you, Josh. It's been a lovely day. Make sure you like, shoot, and chop. I hope I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Wow, <laughs> very articulate. <laughs>